Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is gamification of authentication security. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. And today I'm going to bring you a Friday style story, even though it's technically not Friday yet. And this is a story about a cool game called Fortnite. You've probably heard of Fortnite. It's a great multiplayer first person shooter game from Epic Games. And today I heard news of a neat competition they used to encourage people to use multi-factor or two-factor authentication. Essentially, one of the popular things in many of these games, often a thing that requires micropayments, which I'm not always a fan of, is something called emotes. These are things your character can do, like dances or expressions or, or different movements that are kind of cool. For instance, you might do some sort of cool uh, celebration dance after defeating somebody. In any case, Epic Games held this dance competition to get their users to figure out a new dance Dance move for one of these emotes, and for one emote in particular, they only give it to people that enable two-factor authentication on their Epic game account. And by the way, multi-factor authentication is important to some game accounts as some game accounts have some value to them. If anything, attackers can use them to cheat, so often selling game accounts has some value there. Plus, sometimes there's things in the virtual world that are worthwhile, worth money, real money, to people in the real world. In any case, I think it's really cool that Epic used this gamification idea to encourage or incent their users to actually enable a security feature. That, in my opinion, is the best part of this story. You know, two-factor authentication is awesome, but it does enter an extra step every time you authenticate which does make some users less likely to use it. But offering this special emote that you can only get if you actually enable this security feature is really a cool way to encourage people to use it. So I really love this idea. By the way, one thing to know is Epic does not use SMS-based multi-factor authentication. They actually use a more secure authenticator app. In fact, you can actually connect it to our product, AuthPoint. I actually set up my QR code for two-factor authentication on Epic Games with my AuthPoint app on my iPhone, so it works perfect with our product as well. By the way, while we're talking about SMS authentication versus app authentication, app authentication being much more secure, I will point out there's kind of rumors of another issue that may have to do with SMS authentication. Recently, Mashable's been doing stories talking about some rumored Instagram account hijacks. Mashable's apparently talked to over 250 victims of an Instagram hijack, and they found that at least four of them were confirmed to use two-factor authentication meaning the bad guys had to find some way around that. It's unclear how exactly the attackers did this, but it is clear that Instagram uses the SMS method. Anyways, that's all to say that while I think any two-factor authentication is better than no two-factor authentication, do know that there's much better ways than text messages to add multiple factors to your authentication, including AuthPoint's push authentication. Anyways, I thought this was a really cool story, and if there is any practical takeaway, it's for you guys to try to use gamification in any of your security awareness campaigns. For instance, say you want your users to report phishing emails. Say perhaps you're even using an email product, like an Office 365 product, that has the ability to report phishing emails in it, and your users haven't been using that feature. Maybe make a contest out of it. Every month, give them a prize for whoever reports the most accurate phishing emails uh, in that month. It's a good way to get more attention for your security awareness campaign. It's a fun way for people to get involved, and it really gives an incentive to a behavior you want in your employee base. And you can use this gamification idea for any sort of security policy, human-based security policy that you want to enforce. Anyways, just kudos to Epic for a cool security idea. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.